Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to go over unit two, lab one, page two, debugging and extending your number guessing game. I might break this video down into a few videos just because I don't want to make like a huge 40 minute video of, uh, of me going through the different parts of the lab. But let's get started on number one. We want to analyze and debug this, this script. It's actually different than what I had in page one. If you saw my previous video. But this is what a lot of my students ended up coming up with the first time they made their game, All right? And it looks good. It looks like it's good code, so or a good clean code or a good script. So what happens is I'm going to walk through the sequence, All right? We're going to create a script variable called secret number on the first line. On the second line, we initialize that secret number to pick a random number between one and ten, and then I'm going to repeat this block of code right here, this ask block until the answer equals a secret number. So it's going to keep doing whatever's inside the repeat until, until answer, the person's answer, equals a secret number. It's going to say, guess my secret number. And then once this is true, once answer equals a secret number, it's going to get out of this repeat until block, and it's going to continue on to the last block, which says, uh, you guessed it for two seconds. And that makes sense because once they get it, they don't have to keep getting asked to guess the secret number. They already guessed it right. So the, the game ends when the person guesses the number correctly. And this looks great. This looks great. But if you think about it, there's a bug, right? And not only because they told you here, but some of you guys may have played the game multiple times and found the bug. Now over here on the right side, on the right side, it says if you build this to try it out, have it pick random numbers from 1 to 3 to make the bug occur more often. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to pick a random number from 1 to 3. I'm going to hit apply. And then I'm going to play the game. Oh my gosh, it says you guessed it. Like that's the bug just the first time. It, actually, I played this game a few times because I made it a few minutes ago. But there will be times when I press the game. Okay, here it didn't happen. But let's say I guess 1. It's not one. Let's see, try two. And it says, you guessed it. Now, there will be times when I go to pl play the game. Here it worked correctly. But let's say I go to play the game again, and it might say, you guessed it. That's a huge bug. And it's not immediately apparent um, unless you play the game multiple times. Um, now, why is that happening? Well, the reason is that answer is a global variable. So answer is accessed, and it, not only is it a global variable, but it's never re, like cleared or never reset in between scripts. So what happens is, if I go over here to sensing and I check answer, answer gets set when the person enters a secret number, right? And if they, whether they guess correctly or they don't, answer gets set to that number and it never gets reset, okay? So one possible way of avoiding this bug and this happens, actually, let me take a step back and tell you why this happens. This happens because the game always checks to see if answer equals the secret number before it asks the person to guess the secret number. Now, this isn't a problem if, if, the, if the computer's random pick right, isn't exactly the previous answer from the last game. But if it is then you get the bug where it just skips the whole ask process and just says, hey, you guessed it for two seconds. Okay, so one possible solution is to always ask the person to say the secret number before you check to see if answer equals the secret number. Because we have a problem here. If you play the game multiple times, there will be times where the computer randomly picks a number that was equal to the secret that was equal to the user's guess from the previous game. So what we have to do is always ask the person to type in a secret number before it could even go to the repeat until block. So before we go into repeat until, it always asks the user for to guess the secret number and then it waits. All right, now this should solve the bug. I should be able to, right now, answer is still two from the previous game, the game before that I played. But no matter how many times I play the game, it should never say, C you guessed it. Okay, now I'm hoping that just based on chance that I don't, I'm not like, you know, <laughs> uh, it's not just picking a random number that's not equal to two. I think after this many trials, it's extremely unlikely. 
right? I could even make it from one to two. And so now I, now I have a 50% chance if the bug was still in existence, it's a 50% chance that it would bug out. Um, but as you can see, it's never going to exhibit or show the bug. Okay. So that is one way to fix the bug. And there's a few different ways of fixing the bug. And any way is correct as long as it works correctly. Now, some students also use the if else block and they avoided using this altogether, the repeat. Actually, no, they didn't avoid using it completely, but they started off with the if else block. And by asking the user for the secret number first, they kind of avoided the, the possibility of having the bug anyway. Inadvertently, they avoided the bug. Okay. Now, <coughs> excuse me. In this, in this video, I'm going to focus on having the user know if their guess was too big or too small, and then to have them try again. So what I want to do is I want to check to see if the user's guess was too big. So I'm probably going to use an if or if else block. Let's start off with the if block. Okay. And then when we see that it maybe if else makes more sense, I'll go to that block. So let's see what we want to do is we want to check when the person guesses, we want to check if their guess was bigger than the secret number or smaller than the, than the secret number. So I want to use an operator that kind of like lets me do that. So if the user's guess, okay, so their answer was greater than the secret number, this means that their guess was too big, right? I mean, just think about that logically. So your guess was too big. So like, let's say for example, the secret number equals two and their guess was five. This would be true. This predicate would return true. And it would say the conditional statement, the if would have it say your guess was too big for two seconds. Okay. Now, if the answer was less than the secret number, so let me pull this block over. If the answer was less than the secret number, then that means that the person's guess was too small. Your guess was too small. Now you'll notice that I'm not dragging all of the blocks over here from the command palette because I'm just like right click and duplicating. So that's kind of like me like using shortcuts in snap so that I don't have to like rewrite everything or find all the like the blocks in all the different parts. If I already have them up here, it's easy to duplicate and then modify them a little bit. But now my question is, when do I want, when do I want to check to see if answer is greater than or less than the secret number? Well, let's see, does it make sense if I put it outside of the repeat until, okay, like before. So after the person guesses once, it's going to say your guess was too big or your guess was too small. But the problem here is it's never going to ask them again. Okay, so for example, if the answer was too big, actually, no, this might work. Let's see. So let's walk through it slowly. So if the person guesses the secret number, or sorry, if the person guesses and their answer was bigger than the secret number, then it's going to execute this say block, which says your guess was too big for two seconds. Then it's going to move on down to here and it's going to repeat this until the answer equals a secret number. So let's see if this works. So if I say, let's say, pick a random number from one to 10, let's say the computer's number is two and I guess 10. So it's going to say your guess was too big. And then it's going to go into guess my secret number and wait. And then it's going to go into this repeat until block. That's a problem because it's not checking to see if the answer equals a secret or is greater than or less than the secret number every single time. So it looks like I'm going to have to put these if blocks inside of the repeat until because we wanted to check and tell the user every single time if their guess was too big or too small. Okay. I hope that makes sense. So basically what I'm doing is I'm trying to think about what's going to happen before I actually just click on the number guessing game and try to guess and try to see what happens. Okay. I really want to think it through to make sure I understand it. Okay. So I'm going to pull these out and maybe it would make sense to check before. Okay. Check before I say, guess my secret number again and wait. So let's see if this makes sense. All right. So 
if the answer doesn't equal the secret number, it's going to go into this block area. Okay, so it's going to check to see if answer is greater than secret number. And if it is, it's going to say your guess was too big for two seconds. Then it's going to check to see if answer is too small, but we already know that it's not too small if it's too big. Um, and then it's going to guess my secret number and wait. So I kind of see like an area where I don't need this if block. Let me just pull this out for a second. I don't need to check if answer is less than secret number if I already know that the answer is bigger than the secret number, or is greater than the secret number. Okay, so I don't have to check twice. So maybe it would make more sense to use an if else block. Okay, so that way I don't check twice when I know that the second one can't be true, for example. Um, so maybe I should just check to see if answer is greater than the secret number. Let me make sure I don't mess up the, the, the code over here. Let me get rid of this if block here. So what I want to do is I want to tell the person that if their answer is greater than the secret number, then their guess was too big. All right, so I'm going to put that over here. All right, otherwise, I mean, the only other possibility, if it wasn't too big and it wasn't equal to the secret number, that means it was too small. So I'm going to take this block and put it right down here. Your guess was too small for two seconds. And if I just, if I think this through correctly, if I thought it through correctly, then this should be good code. All right. And I can get rid of this extra code. All right. The other one, just to, just to recap, it was, it was silly for me to ask two if statements in a row. Let me just bring this back over here. This over here on the right is silly because it's checking, hey, is answer greater than secret number? And then it's checking if answer is less than secret number. And if I know that this is true, then I don't need to check this because I know that this will never be true. If the answer actually is greater than secret number, I don't need to check if it's smaller now. Okay, so that's what I mean. Let me get rid of these if blocks. And this if else makes a little bit more sense. So if the answer is greater than the secret number, then I know my guess was too big. All right, and it will never go into the else block. It doesn't have to check again because it knows that the, the guess was too big. But if this was not true, if answer is not greater than secret number, that must mean that it's less than secret number. So I can just say, hey, your guess was too small. And then what I want to do is I want to have the user guess again. So guess my secret number and wait. And it's going to do this all over again. Okay, so let's see if this works correctly. Logically, just by going through it, it looks like it makes sense, but I just want to double check. So I'm going to play the game, guess my secret number, and this is from 1 to 10. So let's guess 1, and wow, of course, I guessed it the first time. Let me play again. Guess my secret number, and it's, let me guess 2 this time. Your guess was too small. Good. Let me guess 10. Your guess was too big. Awesome. Let me guess 9. Your guess was too big. And let me guess three. Your guess is too small. So let me go to four. Your guess was too small. Let me go to eight. Your guess was too big. Let me go to seven. You guessed it. And the game is over. Perfect. It looks like it's, it work, it's working correctly. Now, I really should test this for a while and make sure that there's no bugs that I like didn't see. And actually, I can get rid of this if block over here on the right but it looks like my code is good. Now, I might want to test it by using small numbers so that way like, you know, I can see if like the we have the same bug from before if somehow it crops back in here. Um, but just by looking at it from now like from my perspective right now, it looks like it's right. Okay? If you guys do see a mistake or like, you know, post it in the comments and I will take time to fix it. Okay. Now, what else does it want us to do? Uh, let's see. Congratulations, play for a correct answer. We did this. So now what we want to do is have the user tell us what the maximum number guess should be. I'm going to save that for the next video. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments area below. And I will see you in the next video.